I'm now joined by Bob Livingston, former Republican member of Congress from Louisiana and founding partner of the Livingston Group. We're going to talk to him about lots of things, including gun legislation, the Russia investigation, and the latest controversy to engulf the White House over security clearances for top aides in the Trump administration. He joins us from Washington. Okay, Bob, we have another tragedy, terrible shooting in Florida. Kids are taking action. I know you support strongly the Second Amendment. What do you think Washington, Jefferson, Adams, Hamilton would have thought about these school shootings? Well, Larry, this is a phenomenon that's been going on for the last 10 or 20 years, and it's, it's just tragic. My heart goes out to all of the families who have lost young ones and uh, also to the people that were wounded. Uh, there's, there's no explaining it. It's madness. It's evil. Uh, we'd like it to stop immediately, but a gun didn't walk into that school and do it by itself. It, a, a human being, crazed, walked in and shot seven, killed 17 people and a lot of other people. Uh, all young, wonderful people snubbed out in the prime of life. Uh, Larry, uh, I've lost a son. As a parent, I know exactly what those people are going through. Uh, it was an accident. It wasn't anything like this, but it was still much uh, too hard to bear. But it, emotionalism doesn't cure this thing. Emotionalism and, and passing laws won't solve the problem. If, if laws would solve the problem in Chicago, there wouldn't be 10 murders a, a week or whatever they are. There's uh, hundreds of murders in, in the last uh, few years because they've got the strongest gun laws around. Gun laws can't solve it. We've got to use common sense and we've got to stop it by putting armed guards in schools if necessary. I think that's a, that will stop it. Uh, we can increase the regulations on uh, uh, to making sure that mentally ill people don't get guns. Uh, there are already are laws on the books for that, but they need to be strengthened, I'm sure. Uh, we need to probably uh, do as the president said and, and, and pass these bump stock things that make uh, uh, guns uh, more automatic than they are. And we may entertain uh, trying to cut down uh, automatic uh, rifles with, with stronger laws than are possible. But somebody can walk in with a pistol and kill a bunch of people, uh, and, and all of the AR-15 laws aren't going to solve that. Uh, they can take a car and run over people, and no gun law will stop that. We've got to realize that humanity is, has just gone berserk in the last 30 years. Uh, maybe there's too many people, but, but uh, we're not going to change that. But Obama put down strong restrictions against mental patients, and Trump rescinded that. Which well, I, I... The well, NRA... That, uh, what about the end of power of the NRA in this country is immense. You've got to admit that, Bob. NRA is not, not doing anything other than expressing uh, the views of, no, they're, of they're millions of people. contributing dollars. To, to and, senators and, and, and congressmen, they're giving them a lot of money. Well, the, the money's not, that's not the issue. The issue is abiding by the Constitution. You know, for every person that's killed, there are thousands of people who don't want to be killed and want to have a gun to protect themselves if some banana walks into their house and tries to attack their family. Uh, so it... it we really have to understand passing laws don't work. If, if passing laws worked, there wouldn't be any killings in Chicago. There wouldn't be any killings in Washington, D.C., because they have strong gun laws. Uh, no, it's passage of, of simple laws. If a person, Larry, is going to commit murder, he doesn't care much whether or not he violates the law. And that's really what it comes down to. We've got to somehow get a hold on mental illness, Stop guns from being put in the hands of, of, of mentally ill people. Uh, but also, we got to fight evil with, with force. And that means putting guards, armed guards, in schools and in places. We've got them in federal buildings. We've got them in uh, airports. Uh, we've, why not schools? You know, the, the, the easiest place for a shooter to walk in and 
hurt innocent people, shoot or kill innocent people, is a place where there are no guns. And there are no guns in most schools. We need concealed carry permits for people who are uh, qualified to use uh, guns who will stand up and fight back against the evildoers that are prepared to do these kinds of atrocities. Mr. Trump has repeatedly criticized Jeff Sessions. He wants regulations to be finalized very soon about bump stocks. He wants Sessions to come down harder on many other things, including looking into the Obama administration. Are you critical of Attorney General Sessions? I saw uh, the general on television just recently, uh, and I was very pleased uh, to hear him say that they are actively investigating uh, a lot of the things that I thought were just being swept under the rug. I'm very concerned about uh, the leadership of the FBI that uh, seems to have gone totally astray and has been concealing uh, important information from the American people uh, you know, in this whole effort to unveil collusion with the Russians. Well, we know now, after two years of investigation, that there was no Trump collusion with the well, Russians. we don't know no, that yet. We... Well, we pretty well know. I think it would have been leaked because they've been, the FBI certainly selectively leaked anything but that they wanted to collude. shouldn't your but, anger be at the Russians for what they, meddling in elections? That's terrible. I think that, the yeah, my anger is at the Russians, it's at the Chinese, it's about anybody who would interfere in, in our, uh, try to interfere in our elections. But, you know, we do it with them. So, uh, President Obama went to Israel and interfered in their elections. He's gone to Honduras, interfered in their elections. Uh, unfortunately, that's international politics. And we do know that the Russians didn't affect the outcome of this election. Uh, we, we know that for a fact. And in fact, uh, uh, the uh, uh, t deputy attorney general uh, has, uh, has stated as much just in the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, so, but other countries are going to try to mess around in, in their adversaries' affairs. And the Russians have been doing it since Lenin took over 100 years ago. Uh, they're going to they're going to do it. I was not terribly impressed with uh, 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 Mr. Mueller's indictment of Russians who will never come here and face charges. Uh, that frankly looked a little superfluous. It's not going to stop the Russians from doing what they're doing. How, are we supposed to be mad? Are we supposed to declare nuclear war against them because of it? No, that's not going to happen. At least I hope not. Uh, so we have to recognize other countries are going to mess in our elections. Right. We have to do put up defenses well, if we can and stop Congress, it. Congress overwhelmingly passed sanctions against Russia in the 2016 election, but Mr. Trump has not implemented those sanctions. Why not? Well, I, I can't answer that because I, I don't know, uh, number one, but I would say that uh, uh, we have larger issues with the Russians like uh, their submarines and, and ships all over the world, and, and uh, their nuclear weapons pointed at us and our nuclear weapons pointed at them. So I would go very, very carefully about doing anything like that uh, simply because of an election process. And by the way, what did President Obama do? If, if, if Obama himself said that there was no way that the Russians could tamper with our elections and that it wouldn't have an effect, only after the elections turned out against Hillary Clinton did all of a sudden anybody be con concerned about the uh, outcome of the elections he, or the Russian involvement. But McConnell and uh, a senator from New York had planned a joint Republican-Democratic to take actions against Russia, and McConnell went against it. Obama was for it, and that was in 2014. So don't say that Obama didn't do anything. No, but I'm just saying that I saw a clip just recently, just months, two, three or four months before uh, the election in 2016, Obama poo-pooed the very question that uh, the Russians uh, could possibly uh, interfere or uh, affect the outcome of the elections. And remember, uh, when uh, Governor Romney, who was a candidate for president, raised it in a debate uh, with uh, Obama uh, way back when, uh, Obama uh, just dismissed him entirely, said, oh, uh, the, you're, you're dealing in the 1980s. This is a, 
uh, 2000s and, and uh, Russia is not a problem. Well, all of a sudden, it's, uh, Russia is a problem for Obama, or the, for the Democrats, for the FBI, for the NSA. And, and I'd say a little late when you waited until after the election to say anything. Bob, as always, thanks for your time. Thank you so much, Larry. Thanks for having me.